My mom had, may have hid her truck over your house, but damn sure it wasn't for no two months. Don't get on here and blatantly lie like that because you deserve your ass beat already and you got an ass whooping coming from me and that's on God above. I swear to God when I see you out in the streets, it's over for you. Bible it is. You getting a blatant ass whooping. I'm talking about ass whooping belt. Yes, you need your ass beat. Hi G Squad, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Jason, and today's video is about Chris and Queen. If you are, you have been living under a rock, Chris and Queen is a couple YouTube channel, and um, they just got back together because the guy, the guy, her husband cheated on her, and she just took him back. Lately, there has been some videos from her ex, from the wife's ex best friends. Um, stating how much she have changed after she became famous and all that jazz. Basically, I have posted videos about um, the whole topic, so go ahead and make sure you check them out so you're not lost. And apparently, like an hour or two ago, Queen half sister because they only have the same mom had made a video um, explaining herself and you know cursing at all those girls and defending her sister basically. So we're gonna roll the clip, but first. If you new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. That will be listed in the description box down below. I'll also make it appear on the screen so y'all can go ahead and just enter it um, to add me on those social media platforms. Um, yeah, if you already subscribed, thank you so much for being loyal. Thank you so much. Make sure your uh, notification bell is on so you can get notified whenever you're going to upload from your girl. And yes, guys, let's get right into this video because I'm just going to be quiet and let you guys hear everything in the video. Then I'm going to come back and talk about it because I feel like longer videos need more, you know, need you guys. I need, I need you guys to listen more on longer videos than on shorter ones where I can easily react. Okay, let's get right into it. She has none a deep voice. None of that play. We speaking real facts. Real facts. Straight to the gutter. She looks Straight like she's gutter. younger than Queen. I think she actually is younger. Alright. Now that I have the much viewers as I have, I will be addressing this. My sister and my dad, my dad is nothing like that. My dad has never, never put his hands sexually on my sister. None of that. And for y'all hoes to come and bring my family into it's this. It's getting real. Let me not say anything. Let's just watch. Y'all made the shade wrong. But y'all, but y'all so-called queen friend, but y'all made the shade room. Y'all the shade. Yeah, we may have been in the struggle. Yeah, maybe my mom did hide her truck over your house because the repo man was after her. Yeah, we had struggles, but yeah, we had times. But look at us now. Look at us now. You talking about the struggle that you still in. You talking about the struggle. Why is you talking about the struggle but you in it. You in the struggle still. Y'all niggas not, you not, you not getting no bag. You not doing nothing. And for you to try to get fame off of my family, my sister, you ain't gonna never make it to the top. And that's most real shit. You ain't gonna ever make it to the top because you want somebody else fame. You gotta get to the top for yourself. And for you to say, my, my sister, she just left me broke. She just left me star. Bitch. My sister left y'all because, because of, my sister left y'all because y'all was fake through middle school. Y'all was fake as fuck to her. Y'all the type of hoes that will run and talk about somebody behind their back. And that's why you can't trust bitches like this. Because if you so called her best friend, why is you on the shade room? Y'all bitches think y'all the shit because y'all own the shade room? 
Omar OTS, we don't care the fuck. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck about you. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Anyway, like I was saying, y'all y'all think y'all the shit because y'all made the shade room. But when you walk past, when people walk past you, they ain't going to notice who you is. You're not famous. You're not famous. Bernadette, you're not making no sense. Bitch, your name Bernadette, you're not making no sense. Shut the fuck up, bitch. But like I was saying, you're not, you, you on the shade room because, because the fact that you talking, that you talking about your own best friend. My sister don't got to look out for you. And that's what's wrong. That's what's wrong with y'all hoes today. Y'all try to get fame off of somebody. We've been through that struggle. Yes, we 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 may have been through that struggle. And and yes, I'm calling it out because who who haven't been in the struggle? Who haven't? Yeah, maybe my mom had hit her truck. Yeah, maybe when our lights were shut off. But maybe y'all niggas talking about the struggle, but you still in the struggle. Come, I I get money. I'm not going to forget where I came from, period. Y'all may have to say forget what people have to say, but it's, it's bitches who still talking shit thinking they the shit because they made the shade room. For one, my father not even like that. And for two, for y'all to sit up here and talk about how my father raped her, y'all must do not know who my father is. Because we was always raised to shoot first and ask questions later. And if we, and if we was in Michigan and we saw y'all asses on the street, best and believe, y'all would have been a dead, y'all would have been, Bonnie would have been on y'all head, y'all would have been dead niggas walking. And that's real shit. Ain't nobody speaking non-facts, non-none of that, no. I'm speaking real shit. You... You mad because my sister decided to make a life of herself on YouTube and she so-called fake because she didn't look out for y'all, but y'all was talking about her through middle school. She been cut y'all hoes off. Y'all wishy-washy. Y'all hoes cannot be trusted, okay? So I don't know why you think you're the shit because y'all made the shade room. Bitch, y'all shade. What's done in the dark? comes to the light period and when people still walk past y'all they not gonna know who y'all is because y'all some unknown ass bitches y'all can share this I don't, I don't give i don't give a damn people may walk past me be like hey that's tina or uh, are you queen's sister S people walk past y'all they don't even know who the fuck y'all is they walk past y'all mm, they might they might say oh that bitch ugly as hell <laughs> And come to think about it, the people that, the two people that's addressing my sister, y'all don't even like each other. Angela, the bald head bitch I was just talking about on my live a minute ago, or two days or four days ago, she on, she on making a, she over here, like, she thinks she the shit because she made the shade room. Bitch, you're shade. That's all y'all niggas gonna ever be. Y'all gonna be shade, and y'all steady gonna be in the struggle just because y'all niggas trying to ride off of fame. If you riding off somebody else's fame, you not gonna ever make it to the top. Wait, redo it. Bro, I, I don't got time. Angela, that's how I know you fake. Because when Markeisha made the video and made Shade Room, you, you made one off of that. You lied. You basically lying. And you made the topic, you made the topic about you. First of all, my mom had, may have hid her truck over your house, but damn sure it wasn't for no two months. Don't get on here and blatantly lie like that because you deserve your ass beat already and you got an ass whooping coming from me and that's on God above. I swear to God when I see you out in the streets, it's over for you. Bible it is. You getting a blatant ass whooping. I'm talking about ass whooping belt. Yes, you need your ass beat. You do. But as I was saying, I don't know why y'all over here 
Why and making lies about my sister when y'all don't even like each other? You, Markeisha, and Angela, y'all do not like each other. But it's okay. Little hoes think they think they the shit just because they got on the shade room. Little ugly bitch thinks she the shit. Y'all think y'all the shit because y'all because y'all got on shade room. Come on now. Do y'all not know? That y'all 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 not gonna ever if you jealous of somebody else fame y'all not gonna ever ever get to the top y'all not gonna ever get to the top and that's pure y'all niggas ain't gonna ever be able to enjoy y'all view in y'all house because y'all jealousy is cruel as the grave y'all not gonna ever get to the top if y'all jealous of somebody else you not gonna ever make it to the top where you at and. When you came over my house, first of all, I'm throwing this out there. Nobody. My dad ain't like that. I can't wait until my sister get on here later on because she, because y'all got some, y'all got some shit coming. But for one, I'm speaking on my behalf because my dad, shit don't happen like that in, in our family. It don't. We may have argued, we may have had our worst times, but there's no raping going on in this house. We don't do shit like that over here, and that's real shit. We never, Angela, I don't know what you've been through in your household, but all I know is, in our household, that's not what goes down. Angela, you have came to our house several times, and you disrespect your mom, you talk shit about her. To us, you talk shit about your mom, so what makes you think what makes you think you're not gonna talk shit about our mom? You my mom told you from the get that you wasn't a good friend to Queen. You went that day you sat on the couch to talk shit about mom talk shit about your mom. My mom was like, Queen, you don't need to be around her because if she disrespecting her mom, what makes you think she's not gonna do the same to me? And damn sure right, you disrespected my mom and you got an ass whooping coming. So I'm not gonna excuse that out of the era. Y'all never had good relationships with y'all parents. Angela, your brother suffers from depression because y'all don't give a shit about him. Y'all do him bold as fuck. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about when I went to your house. I drove past your house and I saw a little hanging rope thing as if as if somebody was lynching theyself. And your mom was like, take it down. Take that shit down. Take that down. Why? Because that little boy is going through some shit and y'all don't give a fuck about him just because he's adopted. Y'all think, okay, you adopt somebody, you automatically supposed to love them. But y'all don't give a fuck about that boy. Now, look, I'm, I'm speaking dead-ass facts. Y'all don't give a fuck about that boy. And y'all know damn well y'all don't. I came over y'all house. Y'all would dog that boy out. Yeah, you gave, you gave us a mattress. I, don't, I forgot. I think it was for CJ. Yeah, you gave that ma mattress for CJ. But guess what? We threw that bitch out because it smelled like piss and cats. We threw that shit out. But you talking about a mattress that you gave us? Then, hmm, this was like two years ago. But where is CJ at now? My baby. My my baby has his own my baby has his own bedroom now with his own bed own room TV on the wall while you still have sheets for curtains Markeisha you're talking about my family yeah my mom ha may have bought borrowed ten dollars from you but have she not gave it back to you has she not gave it back to you have you not asked my mom for rides to go to your mom to go to yo Yo, grandma's motel-looking apartment? Because I'm speaking dead-ass facts. That shit look like a hotel. So you can't come and talk about our family when your family is in the wrong, too. You can't come over here and try to blast my family and you not perfect yourself. That Because this ain't gonna ever, never going to fly. Karma's a bitch. And An Angela, I'll, I don't give a fuck about no shade room because... Was done in the dark gonna come to the light anyway? Y'all not no real niggas. And y'all mad cause my sister cut y'all off? We saw y'all. My dad told me if if it's some keep your grass cut low so you can see the snakes coming. Y'all some fucking snakes. Y'all snakes. That's all y'all gonna ever be. And snakes, they slithering around.
They slithering around, unknown as hell. Y'all snakes, period. Y'all gonna always be some snakes. Y'all ain't gonna be nothing else but no snakes, period. And y'all talking about my sister doing this and that, but y'all always know she gonna come to the top anyway. Y'all dog and Chris, yeah, they may have got back together, but so what? That's they, that's they relationship. Why is you worried about their relationship? You mad because my sister got on YouTube and got her whole business out there? Okay, Chris and Queen, Chris and Queen this, Chris and Queen that. Just because they got their whole relationship out there on YouTube, okay? And you talking about some, my sister, my sister ain't look out for me. You know, my best friend. No, y'all was never best friends. Y'all just used to come over the house a lot. My sister had been cut y'all off. Because why? Because y'all fake. You gotta peep. You can't. That that girl that was in that freezer. You can't trust nobody. That comes to show you right there. You cannot trust nobody. You can't trust nobody out here. And my sister couldn't trust y'all. It's not. It's not our fault that she couldn't trust y'all. And you talking about my mom for one. Your mom's still struggling. Is my mom asking you for ten dollars now? Is my mom asking you? Is my mom asking you to hide her truck over at your house now? No, she's not. While your mom is still in that minivan selling drugs. You're selling drugs, bitch. You're selling drugs for a living. And you think you can talk about my mom. Talking about some my mom mooching off a queen. For one, my mom is never mooching off a queen. My mom is an independent woman. And we like to have it by ourselves over here. But if you get rich, if you get rich... I'm, I'm pretty sure if y'all if y'all all on this live got rich, y'all would take care of y'all mom just because she been good to y'all. Because I know one thing, my mom deserved a world. And that's just, that's just for me. Because if I could right now, I'd put my mom in a big house. In a big house on the hills. She didn't have to worry about nothing. And I'm pretty sure that's, that goes for everybody on this live video. Y'all will look out for your mom. Or maybe y'all look out for your dad. It's just simple as that. You look out for the people who've been good to you. But y'all hoes, y'all not getting not a damn penny from us. And that's just real shit. Y'all keep, y'all keep working in them little ass jobs y'all doing. Y'all, Angela, you keep, Hot, you you keep uh having sheets for curtains. Markeisha, I don't know what you're doing, but you keep trying to make the shade room. You keep doing that. Cause that's all y'all hoes gonna be a shade. That's all y'all gonna be a shade. Y'all y'all always gonna be shade. Y'all just some shade ass bitches. And that's real shit. So y'all can get on here. And y'all can say what y'all want. Say say anything about me because I've because people already know I'm real. I'm a real nigga. Best believe I know some friends that was in a struggle right now. But I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna speak on it. Because I've had my moments. I had my moments when I was in the struggle. I've been in the struggle. I know what living in the struggle is. But you got to make something of the struggle. You got to make something. And my sister made something of it. And y'all still mad because y'all in the struggle? If y'all want to be mad, be that, be mad at yourself. Because you can get up right now and make something. It don't got to be YouTube. It don't got to be nothing else. But you can make something of your struggle. You can make something of that. And for y'all hoes to get on here and talk about my family, y'all dead wrong. For real. Y'all dead wrong. Because nothing like that in my family, in my household, nothing like that has never happened. Yes, me and Queen may have different daddies, but we got the same mom. But that's still always going to be blood, and I'm going to still always defend my own. Yeah, maybe I don't look like her, but that's still my sister, period. And she may have not been saying nothing, 
but I'm saying something. My sister is the type of person, she let people talk. She let people talk. But when it comes to my father and my mom getting into this, I was always raised to defend my own. I was always raised one fight, we all fight. And we stand for our family no matter what. Because that's what I'm doing right now. I don't give a fuck if I make Shade Room, Fox 2 News. I still put it out there that y'all some fake hoes. And y'all trying to get credit off my sister. Go up there and grind for yourself. Grind for yourself. That's all you can do is just grind for yourself. No need to get on here and, and be like queen best friend, queen ex best friend. Because I know some real niggas that's still in Queen's life and still in her life right now. Y'all niggas ain't in her life. Y'all niggas ain't real. Yeah, Marquisha, you may have known us since, since, wait, I, I've known her since I was in first grade. Yeah. But guess what? When I was in first grade, I still realized who you was and you wasn't real. You was fake because I, because I noticed when Queen would walk away, sometimes you will always look at her some different way. And I'm like, why is she looking at my sister like that? And sure as to know, my sister came home one day, um, Marquisha talking about me behind my back. I realized that you wasn't real from the get. You ain't going to never be real. My sister ain't did nothing to y'all. She ain't did nothing to y'all. So I don't know why y'all y'all on here talking about her just because she ain't look out, just because she ain't get give no money. Cause Marquisha, three weeks ago, you was just talking about some um Queen, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have did that. I wish I can be in Houston with you right now. No, you just want a little plane ticket. Is that what you want? Go and get that for yourself. You wanna live in a nice house? Go and get that for yourself. Go get it for yourself. That's all you can do is grind for yourself. No, don't, ain't, ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with having nice things. But if you want that, go get it for yourself. That's all, that's all you got to do is grind for yourself and you'll be all right. But y'all hoes is just fake. And y'all, y'all can't be trusted. And it's just, y'all get on here and y'all, and y'all say what y'all want about me, but I'm still always going to be a real nigga. And I know I'm a real nigga. Period. How many viewers? 33, 34. Hey, fuck, fuck that black bitch. <laughs> fuck that, um, alien wicked ass bitch. <laughs> But like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, y'all have been fake from the get, and I don't know why I keep explaining myself, because y'all made the shade room. Congratulations. You made the shade room. I saw Marquisha post on her Snapchat. Way to go. Yeah. Bitch, you gonna always be shade. Angela, same goes for you. Your hoes gonna always be shade. And for you to knock down our struggle, yeah, we may have struggled in the past. But are we struggling now? It's so sad how you knock down our struggle, but you still in the struggle yourself. How? How is that even possible? You want to struggle talking about the struggle. You're I'm not saying you poor, because I don't know what type of money you got, but you want to struggle talking about the struggle. That's how I know y'all y'all not real for real. Because if, like I was saying, I know niggas that was in the struggle too. I was in the struggle, but we never spoke on it. We never spoke on it because we're not that type of person. We don't knock down people's struggle because at the at the end of the day, we don't know what people go through. We don't know what they go through. Kai Hernandez, how y'all related? We got different dads and the same mom. But as I was saying, you don't know what people go through at the end of the day. That's why I was saying. Yeah, maybe, maybe y'all had, maybe y'all talk about people in school doing this. They got, yeah, they got, they got, uh, not name brand shoes, not, no name brand shoes, no name brand clothes on. 
and you looking at them in school, yeah, so what? They probably ain't got no name brand shoes or no name brand, name brand clothes. But so what? At the end of the day, between 752 to 242, you don't know what nobody go through. You can't knock down nobody's struggle. I know niggas who, who used to trap for real, who really, who really was trapping, but start getting on that hustle. And, and they not in them bandos no more. They made it to the top. They made it to the top. And that's what you gotta do. Don't, don't ever, don't come for my family to, to, to try to make it to the top. Because if you come for somebody else, if you try to knock somebody down, you gonna be knocked down. And I'm not, and I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed at all to say that I've been in the struggle. Uh, cause I, cause I know, I know sometimes where my mom, when my mom used to, when my mom went to sleep hungry, but we still ate. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just speaking real facts. My mom will go to sleep hungry sometimes, but we was eight. She made sure her kids was fed. I remember sometimes where the lights was off. Where we had, where we had to light candles in our house. I remember when sometimes we used, we used to, we, we, when we was little, when maybe one day we used to sleep in the car because, because my mom didn't pay the bill because she was struggling. She was a single parent. I remember those times, but, uh, but the thing is, I've been in a struggle and the thing is now I'm not in it no more. Tina, why are you always talking your shit? So I talk my shit. I'm going to continue. All I'm saying is you can't knock down nobody's struggle if you've been in the struggle yourself. I'm not a, I'm not ashamed or embarrassed to get on here and, and say that I didn't struggle because I'd be lying if I said I wasn't struggling. Because I, I struggled for real. Nobody, nobody don't know what it's like to be in my shoes. Period. I don't know what it's like to be in nobody else's shoes. I don't know what it's like to be in their shoes. But the thing is, don't ever try to come for my family and knock down my sister or knock down my dad just to make it to the top. Because you knock down somebody else, you're not getting to the top. You're going to stay right there in that spot you're in. There's nothing much to say. Why new? Just focus on your sister and your nephew. We all got to keep that mindset regardless of the money. You know, and it's the shows right here. People don't know. People just know what's on YouTube. People don't know what goes on behind those cameras. People don't know what goes on behind them cameras. They just know once the lights flicker and they say, what's up, YouTube? There it is. They post it. People don't know what's behind those cameras. Cause I, because my, yes, we've all struggled. The struggle is real. That's all you got to say. The struggle is real. That's all I'm going to keep saying. But don't, but the thing is, I get that you in a struggle. Sometimes you got to love the struggle or sometimes you got to make what's most of it. Or if you tired of the struggle, hustle up. Hustle up. It's time for you to get up off your ass and grind. It, like I said, it don't got to be YouTube. It don't have to be YouTube. It can be something else. But hustle. Exactly what Varshana said. We only see what y'all want us to see. And people forget that. My whole point. Y'all see what we want y'all to see. Y'all don't see nothing. Y'all don't see nothing else. But for y'all the hoes to get there and sit there and lie about my father sexually like that with my sister, that's not flying for real. That's not flying and you foul and you wrong as hell for lying like that. You foul. Cause that just don't happen in houses. I know, I know, I know a couple of people who got raped, but guess what? I ain't saying nothing. I'm not, I'm not stating no names, 
Why? Because I'm a real nigga. Y'all niggas ain't real because for one, that ain't never happened. And I can't wait until my sister get on here and explain this. To explain your hoes. No, not expose. We explaining. This is a fucking conclusion. Period. Now y'all go ahead, y'all share this, share, do what y'all gotta do, cause y'all hoes done made the shade room, I feel like I want a Grammy, I'm a real nigga. And sh and for for all the real niggas out there who ain't never said nothing about they mans, who ain't never knocked down they man's struggle, y'all niggas real for real. Y'all niggas real. Period. Point blank. We need the truth. Hey David, I was just talking about your brother's ex, as you all know. The way I've spoken today, I should be on Ellen. I should be on Ellen. Can't nobody ever say that I went behind them and talked about them behind their back. Because for one, I'm not like that. I don't talk behind people's back. If I had something to say, I would have said it. I'm not indirect. I'm not indirect like you hoes. I don't go and... But this right here, this is not indirect. What I'm doing right now, this live... Stream. Not indirect. This is worldwide. Because y'all niggas done made the shade room. It's time to clap back. And I'm speaking straight facts. All I'm speaking. And this ain't for laughs. I'm not on here roasting y'all. Because people will know if I'm over here roasting y'all. If I'm cooking y'all or what I like to do, if I'm just talking about y'all like I was in the last video about Angela, y'all niggas would y'all niggas can tell that something has been going on. Yeah, they not lying. They that that really happened. They not lying. No, I'm speaking straight facts. Cause it's t it's time. Y'all say what y'all want about me. At the end of the day, I'ma still be me regardless. I'ma still be Tina Madden or Picasso, and I'm not gonna let nothing interfere with that I'm not gonna let nothing interfere with that period cuz I'm gonna always be me and ain't nobody gonna ever change me but I tell you what what can change the struggle and y'all niggas y'all get on the shade room and think y'all did something. I saw it on old girl Snapchat. Let's go. Shade room. Let's go. Just because you made the shade room, that don't mean nothing. Why? You're shade. You are shade. You ain't going to never be no real nigga. Because you want to know why? Why you on the shade room? Cause you're not no real nigga. Real niggas ain't real niggas not like that. What you just did and got down and lied about my family, a couple of facts was true. But I tell you one thing, my father never touched Queen inappropriately. For two, my family is not mooching off a of Queen. And for three, We is not broke. And I'm not knocking down y'all. I'm not knocking down nobody who's still in the struggle right now. I'm not knocking down y'all. Because I know what it's like to be in them struggles. I know what it's like not to have your own. I know what it's like for I know what it's like to look at somebody and and, and wish that you had the same thing that they had. I know what it's like. Trust me, I've been through that. I've been through the struggle, period. So ain't nobody knocking down y'all. I pray for y'all. I feel bad. Because I know what it's like. If you've been through something for real, you know what it's like. 
But for the host that's still probably in the struggle right now, y'all hoes still in the struggle, but y'all knocking down us. So how you in the struggle talking about the struggle? And I'm just, I'm just being 100. I'm just keeping it 100. It ain't nothing else to keep it 100. Because why? Because I'm a real nigga. Period. Y'all say y'all comments. Y'all do what y'all do. Y'all do what y'all want. Y'all say some negative comments. I don't care. I don't care what y'all say. Period. Cause I'm still gonna be real at the end of the day. Cause I'm still keep it 100. And I know I am. As long as you know that yourself that you keeping it 100, it shouldn't be nothing to it. Simple as that. And I'll be off of this live. Y'all can share. Do what y'all gotta do. Deuces. So guys, that was it for this video. Obviously you guys heard everything as I did as well. That is crazy. And the fact that she's actually bringing violence in this, is, I feel like it's, this thing is going to be dragged even for a longer time than it's supposed to. I think she'll just act like her sister and just let it slide, you know, if she really... Because me, in my opinion, if you feel like something don't apply to you, don't respond. Like, that's just me. For instance, when I see most hate, most hate comment, I don't reply. Like, you can go ahead and, and leave a hate comment down below. When I start reading it, if I feel like you are, you are being rude, I'm just deleting the comment and blocking you. That's all I'm doing. It takes me 0.1 second to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm so quick to block people off and, and cut them off for my for my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like she should have just let it slide and let it go. Queen had a po like made a post about the whole situation, but she didn't make a whole video like her sister uh, actually did. And I feel like she made this video because her dad was involved, her parents were involved. But then again, one of Chris and Queen's subscribers had reached out to me and told me that Queen had made a video in the past explaining how she was sexually assaulted. So something is telling me that she just doesn't want her dad to have that reputation. But or Queen never actually told her family that um, her stepdad was um, sexually abusing her. So now that it's out, they're so surprised and they're thinking that the girls are lying. I mean, that's what I feel like. Also, the fact that she has, if you guys have, uh, if you guys realize, she has been repeating herself over and over and over. Like, technically, she's saying the same thing over and over again. I don't know if it's just me, but that's what I feel like. She was just like, y'all made it to the shared room, to the shared room. Y'all think y'all, 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 y'all. Y'all famous now? No, y'all the shade. You know, she was just repeating the same thing. My dad is not like that. Um, I'm a whoop you. I'm a whoop you. are behind. Oh, with the belt. Like I feel like she was. She ran out ideas. And when she was, she was trying to explain that why Queen left them. She was like, my friend left you guys. Uh, my sister left you guys because she made a pause and she was thinking about the word. She didn't know what to say. Then she said, because y'all are fake. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to like jot everything down in my head so I can tell you guys at the end what else happened. Okay. The fact that she said she agreed that okay her mom probably left her van in the girl's yard because whatever was after them at the end of the day if these people helped you at once i don't care how fake they may be just keeping a casual conversation high by type of thing is all you need you don't have to become best friend with her again if you feel like she was talking smack about you because that's how i am like I always tell you guys, my day one subscribers, we always be my day one subscribers. I can get so many subscribers later on, but my one on one subscribers will always be who I remember because y'all the y'all the one that actually started watching me. You know, same thing with her. Those are her day one friends. Even though she said they were talking about her, which actually doubt because that's her little sister. work and she really say she can only call those girls fake because they're talking about her sister. I'm not taking any side, guys. Okay, I'm not. I'm reacting, okay? I'm just telling you guys what I feel. I'm giving you guys my two cents. Y'all can tell me how you guys feel in the comment section. But like I said, um, if you feel like she was being fake, just keeping a high back conversation, like checking up on each other, that's all you need. You don't have to completely cut someone that really helped you that much. And then I feel like her sister is taking certain things for granted because she was like, y'all gave a mattress to CJ, that, but we threw that, that, that mattress away because it smelled like straight pee, peace and cat and all the stuff. At the end of the day, they try to help you guys. Like, that's what matters. I mean, I don't know. I feel like some people get money and start acting funny. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like that also didn't have to be there. 
at all like okay at least she helped you just admit okay you guys helped me you don't have to say oh we didn't use what she helped us with because of this and that because then you are just being ungrateful at that point um and putting adding violence into this is actually useless because at the end of the day they were talking about your parents not you i would say your parents. me too if someone talks about my parent i'll be hurt but then again i'm not gonna go to the point of fighting because guess what you're fighting you get in trouble you can go to jail okay and you say you just you got out the struggle so you gotta struggle to go to jail afterwards or you gotta struggle to enjoy the good life now you know what i'm saying so that's basically how i feel about this and i feel like she really didn't know she didn't know what she was saying like she didn't have much to say because she was repeating herself so much and people when i was watching the video i looked at the comments people were roasting her and all this stuff and i'm not gonna lie she does have a deeper voice than chris they, they should really ch switch vocals but then again like i said i'm not picking any side because the girls on the end I don't find them so being too wrong for posting a video. At least the first one, the Macrisha, Lucretia, whatever her name is, her, I don't find her wrong at all for posting that video because she did. She, she did say that she tried reaching out to Queen any way possible, but Queen wasn't responding to her. So that's understanding that she had to make a video about it. But the second girl, most of the stuff was that she was saying. The other friend had already mentioned it in her videos. But I feel like she actually did have something to say as well. Even though certain things that she was saying matched with the other girls' um, words. And also, Queen's sister mentioned the fact that they are actually not cool, but yet they are making videos because they want to be famous. Actually, I feel like if they really wanted this fame, they would have actually done it on YouTube, you know? Now, y'all making it look like a show because you answering, saying that your other sister is going to come. I don't know if it's what sister you're talking about, if it's queen or if it's some other sister you have. is going to come and give her peace of mind. Like, this is becoming a show. Now, this is becoming the drama show. And what are you guys doing? Honestly, going on live. No one is no one, no one is making the situation feel better but queen. Because beside that post she posted, I didn't see anything else that she had, you know, mentioned about this whole situation. So, I feel like... This situation should just get dropped and no violence should be involved because one of y'all will go to jail or someone will get like really, really, really hurt up to death because she mentioned the fact that she was like, you have gotten a bullet. We don't need all that violence stuff, okay? We don't need it. So yes, guys, that's my, that's my view, opinion, and thought about this whole situation. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you are not subscribed, what are you doing? Like, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And definitely make sure you comment down below any type of video or YouTube you want me to react to the videos next. I'll make sure I do so. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for all the love and support and all the comments you guys leave that are really awesome. I make sure I read every single comment and I make sure I reply to you guys or at least I give it a like or a heart to show you guys I saw it and to show you guys that I'm actually interacting with you guys and I'm actually very glad that you guys are also involved and interacting in my videos once again thank you guys so much you guys are the best i really really appreciate it and i love you guys so much i'll catch you on a, on my next video bye guys